it's midnight. Hey, what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Addict here. So yes, uh, it is officially midnight. The long legs uh, website update, it should be here. Let's get right into it. Uh, tune back in Monday, June 24th. It's Monday. Don't tell me you haven't loaded yet. Let's see. Oh no, it's one of those websites that doesn't tell you when on June 24th. All right, so this is much later in the day now. It is, uh, what time is it? It is like 7 p.m., so, uh, yeah, did a lot of shit today, ran, uh, ran a lot of errands. Shortly after I, uh, tried the first attempt of this back at midnight, uh, I ended up falling asleep, so we're trying now. It's barely even the 24th anymore. This video, this, uh, update should definitely be up. So let's go check it out. Birthday murders, here we go. Uh, victims. Let's see. Let's see, here we go. Ah, that's new! Okay, so what I was thinking is that we were gonna get more of this in the update. See, because if you look right here, it looks like it's uh, there's like more to read. But no, we're just getting more murders. Let's see how long this is. Whoa! It's going down, guys. Okay, nice, cool. Whoa! It's going down. It's going down. Whew. This is uh, this is really short though, considering. But I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of coding in this. We're going in, guys. Uh huh. Oh, I've been waiting for this part of the day. I've been waiting. For this part of the day. God, I'm disgusting. All right, kill them lights. Where's the switch? Ah, all right. Let's get into it. So excited. All right, so if you guys want to re recap, the last thing we read uh, was a bunch of families, a bunch of killings, where uh, it looked like the husband or the dad of the family was the, always the murderer, and he was always the last to die by, uh, you know, suicide. Killing himself with a gun, stabbing himself, mostly the gun. And uh, with each crime scene, this is all over the state of Oregon, by the way, as well, um, there was always a code that said long legs. So they started putting a bunch of things together, connecting all the dots. There was a lot of, like, people saying that, like, uh, satanic cults, like, there was a lot of people that were being sketchy that kept, like, appearing. People saying that, like, you know, uh, there was, like, etch etchings of, like, 666 and stuff on the wood. I still don't know why the men of the family <laughs> have always been the murderers, have always been, like, the ones, like, you know, in charge of everything as far as, like, what the crimes show. Um, and what Long Legs has to do with that, I don't know. But we're gonna read more because it looks like there's more families. I don't know... If this is still going to take place in uh, Oregon, I don't know if this is still going to end up the same way with the dad or the husbands being the fucking killer. We'll see, but let's continue this rabbit hole with the Angstrom family. Warren and Vivian Angstrom have been together for nearly 10 years. Warren, a, no a notary public, a notary public, I don't know the, how, how that word is pronounced, a notary public at the Salem Municipal Courthouse met Vivian while bowling at Shenanigans Lanes in West Staten. They soon married and settled in the town of Elkhorn. The couple loved to go fishing in the Yamhill River every spring. Polly, their only child, was a nine-year-old who attended Lonnie Element Elm Elementary, where she was awarded Student of the Month shortly before she was brutally murdered. Also, I've noticed, all the kids of the families of the murders, they're always, like, girls. It's never, like... Oh yeah, the son was murdered. Have you guys noticed that? The little girl had been stabbed over 40 times. Fuck. With a 12 inch chef's knife. Jesus! That's a brutal fucking knife too. Her face was sliced off with a vegetable peeler. Post-mortem. Okay. This might be up to, for debate, but this girl got it the worst of all the murders. Vivian, 34, was found in a pool of blood with a boning knife protruding from her stomach. Warren, 38, had gouged out both of his eyes with a screwdriver before slitting his own wrists. The Angstrom family is the worst one so far. 
Deputies responded early on November 17th, 1972. Okay, so we're still going forward. I'm, I'm thinking that this is going to lead up to the 90s where the, movie's, where the movie itself takes place. After receiving a call from a traveling salesman who had knocked on the door to the Engstrom's family residence on Baylock Street. Police Lieutenant Travis Hobson was quoted as saying, I never believed that Warren Engstrom was responsible. That's what I was saying. I don't think, like, obviously, like, the husbands or the dads, they're obviously not doing this because, like, they want to. They're obviously under, it's either a framing or something with, like, a cult or, like, satanic things that's making them do it. I don't know. But with all the evidence pointing to the contrary, uh, the case was ruled a homicide-suicide. Someone or something was making him do it. Uh-huh. What I just said, Hobson added. He didn't do all of that on his own accord. Warren was described by all who knew him as a natural family man, yet what became of his family was ab was anything but natural. That must be the wife. That's the chef's knife. The interior walls of the house were decorated with a series of inverted triangles. A copy of the book The Golden Bow, a study in magic and religion by Scottish anthropologist Sir James George Fraser, was found on the bedside side table. Turn to page 187. On the refrigerator, a birthday called... Or a birthday card was inscribed with a coded message. The card was signed, Long Legs. A study... I wonder if I can look this up and look up page 187. I, I doubt this is going to give me anything, but hey, it's worth a shot, right, guys? Paste, uh, page 187. Page 1. Can't believe I'm doing this. I don't think this is going to give me anything. Wait, no, maybe... Wow, we're going all the way down. 187. Why am I doing that? Woo! 187. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we're getting there. I just saw it. Here we go. 187. Bibliography. Julian C. and Derenberg. Oh, I don't know any. Any. Oh, wait, no, that's 183 versus 187. I don't know how, how to pronounce any of that. What about this page made it so special? It looks like this is all in German. Is it German? I don't know anything. I don't know anything that would make this page stand out. All right, but we're gonna. <clears throat> all right, we're obviously deciphering this. Obviously. Oh man, this is going to be a lot to write down. I'm not. <laughs> not gonna let that candle burn. Because <laughs> if I do, it's going to be dead by the time this is done. All right. Where's my pen? This is the big one. All right, backwards C. I feel like they do from Blue's Clues. Those two lines. This thing. A little triangle thing. Plus sign. There's a lot of repeats of the uh, symbols, thankfully. And two plus signs. I don't know how to write it because I can't fit everything but I'm doing my best and then we got three slashes <laughs> two slashes and then a V and that thing and then it looks like it spaces to the X symbol two slashes and a dot C <laughs> three slashes is gonna be fucking hard to decipher well not hard but it's gonna take time L C all right, so this is where we're at so far. We're getting there. Oh my god, we're only on the second line. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be a long one. Two slashes. The O with the slash. O with a dot. Um, Half a division sign. <laughs> Another word it looks like. Two slashes, L... That thing, that thing, plus sign, horseshoe looking thing, and then the dots. All right, so we're done with that line. This is what we got so far. Jesus Christ. Imagine writing a book and all this. Can you imagine? And then we got the N looking thing, the two dots. And that looks like it's one word. This symbol, and then he got it going the other way. <laughs> Looks like a C. 
three slashes. <laughs> this sign again. The circle with the dot in the middle and then what looks like the letter L. Okay, now we're going V. Whoa, what is that symbol? That's a new one. I drew that the best I could. Little X symbol again. God, these dot symbols are fucking me up. They're they're the weird ones to draw. V. My hand is cramping. I can't draw all these unknown symbols. Yeah, long legs called. He said this. All right, and then two slashes. Want to know what the funniest part is? Uh, this isn't even the code that we're gonna have to decipher at the end. Nor is this the only code. There's another page that has something like this. Got him wasting time. We gotta do this. All right, and then we're going to uh, second to last line. Right, and then plus sign. Three slashes. This thing. L. U. Uh huh. Uh huh. Backward C. Backward C. Did you guys hear that Shrek 5 got fucking confirmed today, finally? Did you guys hear that Freaky Friday 2 got confirmed today? Pretty cool. What the hell is that? Are those two dots? And then two slashes and then three slashes. Two. And then three. This symbol. <laughs> Alright. Three slashes. Dash. Backwards C, I think that is. That. Circle with the dot. Three more symbols. That is what we got. Holy shit. Oz Perkins. I love you, but God, you're an asshole. All right, <laughs> so we're going to the alphabet. I don't want to do it, but I do. All right, long legs, coded, alphabet, boom. So obviously these are kind of like all over the place as far as like, I don't know which where the words stop and start, but we're just gonna focus on getting the right letters and then I'll focus on spacing them out. All right, so we're looking for a backward C. That's L. So we got L. <laughs> Two dashes this way, that's G. LG? That'll make sense already. Huh. Please don't let me be doing this wrong. Okay, so the t yeah, that's G. Whatever, I'm gonna do it exactly how you say. This isn't the code after all. <laughs> I don't need to get this one right. I just gotta do my best. So let's see, this one's J, L-G-J. -J. This is K. That's what I've got so far. What do you guys got? Uh, and then this, now it looks like half a division sign. That's P? I think that's P. Uh, and then the triangle thing it looks kind of like a bat hanging at the bottom of a bridge. Uh, not this one, a different one. Is it this one? Yeah, this one's X. Damn it! Don't tell me I did this thing for nothing. It's just a bunch of fucking hocus pocus jum mumbo jumbo. Uh, where was I? The plus sign, the plus sign, the plus sign. That's Z. Yeah, this is definitely mumbo jumbo. Division sign again. That was the fifth. One, two, three, four, five, P. You want to know something, guys? I'm not following. L and then two slashes. So L is O. And then the two slashes were G. I want to keep going because I feel like maybe you can get something out of it. But I don't know what, because I don't see how this makes any sense. And then two pluses, that was two Zs. And then three slashes, what was that? That's Q. <laughs> and then two slashes was G. And then the V looking thing was, it's a V. C. <sighs> We're gonna continue uh, reading. I'll go for the next one. <laughs> Why? Why did he make me do that? If I have to come back to it, I will. But I'm going to keep reading. Neighbors. That's right. I have to kill the lights again. 
Man, all this code deciphering making me thoisty. Thing is lit. Lights are killed. Neighbors recalled seeing a yellow moving van circling the block in the days leading up to the killings. I saw it one night after the Johnny, after the Johnny Carson, claimed neighbor Ida Cass. I remember thinking, who in the heck moves furniture in the middle of the night? If this vicious crime was indeed a part of the Long Legs murders, it would have been the sixth set of killings perpetrated by the killer. Years later, when the case was reopened, the Federal Bureau of Investigation noted that the crime may have held significant, special significance for the murder as six is the number of the devil. All right, the Ware family. Is this the Ware family? Okay, yeah, this is the only other family so far. The Hemlock Police Department announced the bodies of four people were found on the evening of August 19th, 1974. But it's not saying, uh, where. I'm guessing this is still Oregon. In an apartment, an apparent murder-suicide. Jasper Ware, 36, a systems administrator <coughs> with the firm of Beckwith <coughs> and Halloran, is suspecting of killing his wife, Ethel, 32, and their two daughters, Veronica and Rosemary. Yep, two, again, daughters before taking his own life. Ethel, who worked as an office coordinator with Seward and Sons, was found in the bathroom. The bodies of the girls, Veronica, 12, and Rosemary, 9, were found in the living room. The girls were said to be straight-A students at Mapather Street School. Let's see if that's... Is that a Oregon location? Matha... P -p what was it? Matha... Pizzi? Pizza, Math, M Map, Mapather, Map, Mapather Street School. All right, Mapather Street School. Mapather Street School. It's not a real place. Yeah, that must be uh, made up or, or fictional. Family members recalled that Veronica wanted to be an astronaut when she grew up, while Rosemary had hoped to be a keeper at the Cape Disappointment Lighthouse. That's disappointing. In nearby Washington State. Okay. The family enjoyed swimming and other recreational activities at Hag Lake. Hemlock Child Protective Services was called to pay a visit to the warehouse after the girls had missed several days of school. HCPS in turn alerted law enforcement. After collecting physical evidence, the Tillamook Co County Medical Examiner's Office determined that Ethel and her daughters died from profuse loss of blood due to multiple knife wounds. Forensic pathologist Dr. Dominic Waldron was quoted as saying the mother had stabbed, was stabbed exactly 66 times. A lot more six and we know what that number is. Hemlock Police Captain Cody Hammond described that the killings as hellacious. He noted that the murders were clearly the work of a sick and twisted mind. Similarly to the Engstrom family, a copy of the Golden Bow was found on Jasper's bedside table, turned specifically on page 226. Okay. Oh, you won't let me see it. The whole universe is subject to the gods. The I'm not reading all this. I don't care enough. I love the movie and I'm really excited for it, but I'm not going to read all this shit that I know I'm not going to understand. The white... Okay, fine. I'll do it for you guys, maybe. India, the whole universe is subject to the gods. The gods are subject to... The spells, mantras, the spells to the Brahmins, I can barely read it. Therefore, the Brahmins are our gods. This radical conflict of principle between ma magic and religion sufficiently explains the relentless hostility with which in history the pr I, I can't, I'm tapping out. The white two-story house of Grimaldi Way would never be looked at the same way again. The Mount Gogotha? neighborhood was described as reeling after the murders were discovered. Many neighbors claim to have seen an elderly woman in front of the warehouse in the days prior. I wonder who that would be. Others would swear that Jasper Ware would never do something like this. According to neighbor Muriel Fugardi, Jasper was not a violent man and added, I never saw any signs of abuse. Jasper may not have been violent, but that August night he behaved like a psychopathic lunatic or psychotic lunatic. Okay, so is there actual evidence now? Like, witness of him actually acting out? His wife and daughters had to be buried with closed caskets due to the amount of savagery involved. Hammond described the murders as ritualistic. 
As with the previous killings, a note was discovered on the refrigerator signed by someone or something calling himself Long Legs. All right, so I've got a, I got some symbols here, so I'm not gonna turn on the lights yet. First, I'm gonna see if this starts to make sense. Plus was, wasn't the plus a Z? Yeah, plus is a Z. I already know this ain't gonna make sense. Z, and then that division sign, that half division sign looks, that was a P, so Z, P. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not get thinking, I'm thinking that that's not gonna get me anywhere. Hammond characterized the letter as eerie and claimed we even con contacted a cryptographer to try to decipher the thing. As each of the Long Legs killings took place in a different county, there was no communication or cooperation between the various authorities, and no one made a connection until years later when the FBI renewed the cases or reviewed the cases. Is this where we're getting to the point? Maybe. Well, I don't know. Are we getting to the point maybe where Lee Harker comes in? But then again, if I was right, which I, I'm starting to think I might have been mistaken about her being a victim of his when she was a little girl. Why wouldn't they talk about that case, those murders? I don't know. More murders? At this point, the trail turns cold as Longlegs appears to have vanished for one for more than a decade. So I really need to know how do they track him down? What makes the movie's story come into place as far as like you know, where it like is told currently. No more murders, no more letters, no more seemingly demented familicides for over 10 long years. What started out as a series of unrelated murder series or murder suicides is now looking increasingly like the work of a mysterious and unhinged serial killer. In the next entry of this weblog, we'll learn about whether or not Long Legs continues to kill. Yo! July 1st is my birthday. I'm going to be 29. This. This I'm deciphering because that is a code to a file. And we're getting that file. Now, I'm really curious. I wonder if it's gonna be more photos because we only got a couple photos this time around. We got one, two, three. So I wonder what this will have when we unlock it. All right, so we got the R looking thing. We got this symbol and we got the two dots. We got a dash, an upside down T, a C, an L, this symbol again. Uh, this symbol again, this symbol again. We're getting a lot of repeats, that's good. Dash, upside down T, C, another upside down T, the dots, another upside down T, dash, V, the dots. This will be easy to, to decipher. V, backwards C, dash, this symbol, U, Dash C dash that symbol again V all right dash upside down T and C I didn't turn on the candles but you guys see that F so F is that one the horseshoe thing well the one that's going down this one R so F R the two dots I is it friend is it friend? Uh, the dash. Is the dash an E? Yeah! I think it's friend. Is the upside down T and N? Yes, it is! Friend! Oh, we're friends. F-R-I-E-N. So we're looking for the C, which is a D, of course. Friend. The L. O. So friend of. I'm guessing that's of. I got friend O. R-I-E-N-D. Of. Yep, friend of. Friend of. And then the next one is R. So R. Friend of R. And then the two dots. I. Friend of Re. R I E. And then the upside down T is F R I E N. Ryan. You know, I just realized I don't need to worry about the spaces. Cause with the last code, we didn't we didn't do spaces. I don't know if this is making sense so far. I might double check it. F R I E N D. L's an O. That's an F. 
Uh, this is, yeah, this is an R. That is an I, yep. And the dash, is that an E? Yep. And then upside down, yeah, that's a T. So yeah, this is right. So C is a D. Friend O. Oh, it's friend O. And then friend again. <laughs> friend O friend. And then upside down T again. F R I E N. That's an N. And then the dots, that's I. Friend O friend N I. And then the T, the upside down T. So that's F R I E N. So that's N. Friend O friend Nin. I'm thinking that's nine. Nine. Yup. 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 That's nine. Friend O friend nine. And then the V. Thing that looks like a V. That's a C. <laughs> circles. Is this again? Friend O friend nine circles. So that's C, and then the dot C, yep, that's an I. And then, what's next? Um, and the horseshoe thing, yep, that's R. I mean, I was saying before the mess, deciphering it, I was like, there's a lot of same symbols, and this will probably be circle. Yep, circ. Oh. And then the backwards C, that should be an L. Yep. Alright, and then the dash is an E. So, is this an S? Yep, it is an S. So, it is friend of friend nine circles so far. <laughs> and then the thing that looks like a U, that's a W. Is it we descend again? No. Wait, yeah, we. And then the thing that looks like a C, that was, was that D? Yes, I think it is We Descend again. Yup, E, the horseshoe thing, is that an S? It is an S. And then the V, yup, Descend. Yeah, okay, so it's Friend O oh Friend, Nine Circles, We Descend. Oh, it rhymes! Did I just summon something? All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait, wait, are these two different ones? Wait, are these two different ones? Let me see, that one says 8514. Let me see if these are all, if these are the same. Are these the same file? 8514 was the, was the one. Come on, open, let me see. Let me see it. Uh... Ah! No, they're different. Oh no! So I gotta, I gotta space them out, huh? Ah, get lost. Oh no. Okay. Okay. So let's let's space these out. So this one, where does it stop? It stops. It stops at the dash T C. That would be F R I E N D. F R I E N D O F R. What's that giant dot? I didn't get that giant dot, did I? Oh, that's probably an H. Is that an H? I might have forgotten that one. No, that's an A. Shit. <laughs> Oops, I forgot one. So this would actually be. F R I and then yeah the dash is an E. It's friend. Is that a C F R I E N D friend? Okay, so up to here it's friend. And then the L is O. Friend of Oh friend of a friend. F R I E N D of A F R I E N D. Friend of a friend. Okay. Uh, let's make you smaller. Friend of a friend. There it is. 
Okay, let's see what's in this one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight this time around. Are these gonna be crime scene photos again? What? Wait! How come I couldn't get into that one? Why couldn't I get into that one? Oh. Oh, damn. That's the first time we've actually seen a face in a photo. Okay. What's this one? Oh, God. This is so creepy. What is this? I'm starting to get worried about looking at the photos. Oh God, that's the bathtub. That's the mother. What the hell? Oh, it's a song. No way. Yeah. Okay. What if I type in this code and I type that in to get into this file? So the downward the half division sign. I have to I have to know more. And then the, the circle, the upside down T, the dash, that symbol, the three dashes, that symbol. Two dashes and then an upside down T. Okay, we're we're gonna look at this. Oh my God! Dad, nah, don't jump scare me like that. That's right. There's there's another file that we have that we still need to type in. <laughs> this guy. All right. So let's go to the thing. So half division sign. That's wasn't it down here? That's P. Backwards C is L. P L A. That's that's A, right? The dot. Yep. P L A. Is this play? Upside down T. No is upside down. N. So plan dash. That's E. Plane. We got plane so far. Plane. And then the thing. Planet? Where, what are we doing going to space? Keep this shit in Oregon. Planet Q. <laughs> Planet Q. And then the that symbol, what is that? I don't even know how to describe that. U. Planet Quiet? Planet Q U dash dash. That's E. Planet Queen? Planet Queen. What the hell does Planet Queen mean? Oh, we're about to find out. This is getting fucking creepy, guys. Planet Queen. What? No, it's Planet Queen! Planet Queen. You fuck. I don't know. I don't know what else it would be. I didn't see anything with Planet Queen in here. <laughs> Let's try and open up this one. So this was friend of a friend. This one is nine circles we descend. Wait, is this just gonna be the other file we've got we got last time? Nine circles we descend. Yeah, I think this is the file we already opened. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like right now we we don't know how to get into this one. <laughs> I've typed in the only thing I could guess because I, I deciphered that I, I, I don't know guys, maybe we can come back to this 
It's gonna drive me crazy though. Does any of this look like... Is any of this right here written in this? And maybe in between the letters, we can find another code. Dash C. Dash, it looks like a backward C. There's a backward C. There's a backward C. But it doesn't have the dot that would be an A. <laughs> That's not in here. Because I was going to say, maybe we can find Planet Queen amongst this. And then in between Planet Queen, there's like another message. But now that wouldn't work because there's not the dot that we need that is the letter A. Which is this big boy. Planet Queen. I'm trying to see if there's some clues maybe. What is going on here? What is this? Is there anything I can do with this one? Brightness wise, no. Wait, what, what did the code say again? 114.75.12.19. Is there any of that over here in the other file? 114.75. No. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to find ways that could be clues, but I'm not seeing them. We might have to end it here, guys, and just wait till July 1st when we get the next update of the video of the website. But yes, guys, um, that has been part two, I guess, of Long Legs, uh, the the website. So we're gonna. We're going to come back July 1st, obviously, and see what, what else we get. Maybe we can figure out something, you know, when that update comes to figure out this one. But yes, guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I am really enjoying doing this, doing these videos. I don't know how many updates we're going to get. Maybe we'll get only two more because the movie comes out on July 12th. So if we get one on the 1st and then the next week, the 7th or the 8th, I don't know. Maybe we only get two more, but... Uh, we'll, we'll keep doing this as long as we can, guys. I'm loving this. But yes, guys, with all that being said, I've been Pragmatic Addict. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in part three soon. Take care.